Good day from Yarramoto. I've just left Daventry and uh, I've got Wayne with me behind and we're just starting our uh, tour to the Pyrenees, Portugal and Picos. So we're heading down to uh, Portsmouth this afternoon to catch the evening ferry and that's a two-nighter there and then we'll be uh, hitting the northern Spain on Saturday morning and heading our way down to the first hotel in Pamplona where everybody will be meeting up. We've got ten or so people meeting this evening in Portsmouth for the ferry journey and the other ten or eleven people are travelling from different points to meet us down there having ridden perhaps uh, gone different ferry routes or have decided to ride rather than to uh, swim there. Anyway, we'll catch up with you a bit further on down the road and uh, see you in Portsmouth. Here's Mr. Redford and his Ducati. Good day. How the devil are you? I'm wet, how about you? You're wet? Very wet. You all right? So we've just left Cheveley Services where we've met up with John Redford and as we were waiting, Rob de Cruz uh, came up into the uh, car park as well. So he's now on the back of it. So there's four of us going down to uh, Portsmouth at this point. So again, we'll catch up down there. It's about an hour from here, 60 miles or so. So we'll see how it's going. The sun is shining, so it's all good. So I thought I'd give you a quick look around the cabin that we're in on this fairly new ferry, the Salamanca of Brittany Ferries. So this is a four berth cabin and you've got some hanging space here, work surfaces down here, um, plenty of plugs for charging and so plenty more power points etc down on here. This is a windowed cabin obviously and then in here Looks like a bigger toilet, shower room, etc., wash basin in here. We're on the ferry for another night and uh, we should arrive about eight o'clock in the morning. Apparently, because of the early start, uh, there is no breakfast on board, but we'll see if that's true or not. Um, so, I guess we'll have to find a breakfast somewhere along the line. And uh, then we'll be meeting up with the rest of the crew in Pamplona somewhere. I'll see you on the morning as we disembark at eight o'clock. <laughs> Saturday the uh, 3rd of September we're just leaving the boat at 8am uh, local time 7am British time as you come in so be ready for that they don't give you a huge amount of warning to be fair so you better get up at about 6 go and get some fodder if that's what you want to do be ready to come down to your bikes at 7 o'clock British time because that's 8 o'clock local time and you're off and as you can see, uh, we weren't particularly sprightly this morning. So we've met up, well, obviously, with the contingent who are coming on by the ferry. So some of them, I think, are going to ride with Wayne and myself this morning to the first hotel. It's just a question of uh, finding a location to meet up with everybody. Well, uh, let's go, go through passport control. Okay, well, I'll catch up with you guys once we're through this, I think. This first episode covers our travels from Bilbao to Pamplona, then on to Viela 
in the Pyrenees, and then down to Subirats, which is uh, just west of Barcelona. So we're just on the uh, outskirts of uh, Bill Bauer, straight across here. Gatica. The BI 3709. It's 21 degrees, it's a little bit cloudy, but it's very pleasant as we make our way eastward to Pamplona. Just want to get out of the speed restricted areas. So we'll catch up with you a bit later. Here we are, a little coffee stop, a uh, few miles outside of Bilbao. We've got Rob on his GS, we've got Wayne on his uh, Yamaha Tracer, and we've got Chris and Dawn on their Hayabusa. We've got uh, Michael Lucas on his Ducati Corsa 12.99, lovely machine. My bike, and we've got Matt Randalls on his 900 tyre. And then we've got the Ducati Multistrada V4, and this is John Redford's. Nice all right? Yeah, lovely. Good. Super job. Right, let's see what there is. So a few kilometres out from uh, Bilbao now and uh, as you can see I've uh, routed us up this little wiggler. I'll give you the road number in a minute when I can look down at my screen. It's a little bit greasy here under the trees and on the bend so I'm just being a bit cautious and I'm trying to get uh, in the swing of it with all the extra weight on the bike and the panniers etc. We'll be all right in an hour or so. Just need a bit of heat on the road to uh, burn this off a bit. It's like a little go track, go kart track, isn't it? Maybe I uh, rooted this a bit too wiggly. <laughs> Got to loosen up. I'm a bit tense at the moment with this uh, road a bit damp. If you like bends, this is the one to come to. <laughs> this will get you in the spirit of the tour. <laughs> Gaining some height here. We've had these bends for the last tour, 10 miles, something like that. It's just one after another. It's, uh, yeah, we're not going to wear out the centre of the tyres on this road, that's for sure. It's a bit damp on some of the corners, uh, viewers, but uh, it certainly wakes you up anyway. Bendy, bendy. This is the BI2224. And a bit further up the road, here we are. And more bends, although they are opening up a bit and it's getting a bit brighter, a bit sunnier. But a lot of bends on this route. Good practice. We're still on the BI. Hold on. I need to look at the screen. I can't do it at the moment. <laughs> the BI 2636. This is.
Well, so lovely today, it's 21 and a half degrees. It's a bit overcast, but uh, it's a lovely motorcycling temperature. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? 13 kilometres of bends. Oh dear. Never mind. You can always go the main roadway if you want to. I don't think there is a main roadway. The poor Ducati must be straining at its leash to go. Yeah, if you're coming down this way, you won't want to come on this road. Right, so we're just joining the NA120. We've got 76 kilometres to the hotel. It's now 1.30pm local time. Not going the direct route, we're taking the windy route. Look at that view, guys. Exhaust. Right, so we're now on the NA7330. Roads have certainly opened up. That was a terrific bit of road just before we joined this one. Fantastic. And nicely surfaced as well, that's Spain for you. Let's film a bit down here, see what this road's like. Oh, we're into a town. <laughs> so that's the town. I won't try and pronounce it. Press on. This is not the direct route to Pamplona and the hotel. This is one that I've added in for the Wigglies. Spread out in front of us, lovely. We're on tour, come on. I think it's Matt ahead of us. Look at this view, just come out onto this plateau here, winding its way down the valley here. I think it's the way we came in previously on one of my other videos. Certainly a great view. So we're just approaching the hotel in Pamplona, it's uh, three kilometres out. You can't 
turn left there onto the junction onto the hotel you have to come down here if you approach from this direction and then go round this is the entrance There we go, Hotel Pamplona. And here we all are. Arrive safely. Catch up with you in a while. So day four, and we're off to Viela in the Pyrenees. So we're just going to head into uh, Pamplona around the northern outskirts and pick up our route. So we'll catch up you, with you a bit there, or I think once we get on the more interesting roads. See you then. Right, so we're just leaving the uh, Pamplona environs on the N135. Anyway, we're heading uh, east anyway into the mountains now for a little bit of bendage. Lovely day, it's, we left about 9.30 and it's uh, already 20, 21 degrees C. It's going to be a hot day today. Right, catch up with you when we get to more bendage. We're into a bit of bendage here on the N135. A lot of cyclists. I mean, this is this is Sunday morning, so I suppose you've got to expect it. But a lot of cyclists. Good little road, but I suspect you should come here on midweek, really. It's a bit bendy.
pretty. This place was recommended to us for a coffee stop, but we'd actually we stopped before it actually. We couldn't make it to this one without needing a, more coffee. There's a lovely flowing road along here, the NA140. Oh, we've got to turn back on ourselves here. Some cracking roads here in Spain. If you're watching this, if you've never been to this part, you should. There's loads of bendage up here. So we're now on the N137, it looks like anyway. And we've come out onto this sweeping road through this gorge here. So we've turned on to the NA176 now, another bendy road up into the hills, not quite as well surfaced as the uh, last road we were on. Quite a few tight bends and then little open straights like this, so it's uh, quite flowing. This is the rural road. Do they call these fire tracks, do they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, uh, which state were we into? I can't remember what it said on the sign now. But clearly they're not spent, sorry I'm talking to Wayne on the film here, um, over the intercom. Yeah, we just came over the state or county border or whatever it is in Spain and uh, we've gone from a nice smooth, well tarmacked road to uh, this. But look at the countryside, we're right in the middle of nowhere here. Still the A176. Look at this one, we've just come onto this, oh there's a continuation of the A176, but look at the topography here. Nice smooth roads here. Still 236 kilometres to the hotel. Catch up in a minute. So we've had a nice little uh, bite here at this uh, restaurant. And there's a petrol station over there, fuel station, so two things at once. Ideal. So we're now going to go to, I don't know if it's pronounced Hacker, but it's J-A-C-A. -A. Who's got right of way here? No idea. Right, we carry on. We're on the N240. Catch up with you later. So we're just coming through the town of uh, Hacka, J A C A. Let's take take this one. Is it this one? Yes, it is this one. Can't wait to get out of the city. It's too hot here. N330 184 kilometers to our destination This is the N246 As you can see it's quite a fast uh, flowing road uh, east to our destination I'm sure you don't want to see a tunnel so I'll catch up with you in a minute Welcome back, we're on the N260 now, still heading east to our hotel which is 138 kilometres from here. A few more windies down here, just to keep us busy. 
and it's 28 degrees that's quite sticky this afternoon Welcome back, just thought I'd show you this uh, gorge here, we're winding our way down the side off. Quite impressive uh, rock structure here. Actually some water in that river at the bottom there. This is September 2022. We've had one of the driest summers in Europe. So if I said we've got uh, Michael Lewis behind me today, we've got Wayne obviously, Wayne Morris, we've got Rob the Cruise again and we've got Brian Welch who uh, joined up with us last night having ridden down through France. We've bunched up with other different people at different times today. And this is Boltana, B-O-L-T-A-N-A. I think this is Ainsa, A-I-N-S-A. I'll have to check that and put it up on the screen if it is. Probably say as we go out through here. So we're heading towards Camp, well Campo is 31 kilometres further on. But we're still on that, uh, on the N260. Very pretty here. Temperature is still Scorchio. Even though I've got the old mesh jacket on speak about this did I? I instead of coming the rucker because I've in previous trips I've been uh, boiled like a kipper in uh, my rucker gear great as it is for inclement weather in temperatures sort of 25 30 plus you boil like a kipper it is terrible so I vowed not to wear that again so I've purchased this mesh jacket from Climb and uh, these jeans from who is it? But anyway, let's do, the Climb jacket is is it triple uh, C or is it triple A rated? D30 armour in it. Not cheap, but it's probably one of the best out there. I expected it to be more meshy actually because some of the people, uh, the rucker one apparently, uh, the Wayne uses, the wind blows straight through that and it's just too cold on some some days. And John Redford who's on this trip with the Ducati V4S, uh, he's got a Ducati mesh and that's really large holes in that one. Um, but this one, I'm pretty warm at the moment to be fair. I've got both of these zips open or you can use them as pockets if you want but I've got both of these front zips open and uh, I'm still pretty warm to be fair but it's going to be a lot better it's, it's a lot better than the uh, rucker gear that I normally wear uh, but I like these these particular jeans because they don't look like motorcycling jeans jeans can get quite hot as well around your nether regions but I've put this cool covers seat cover on the bike which is supposed everybody swears by these things but I'm bugger if I can see that it's actually well uh, it's difficult to know as I took it all off and tried tried it without but uh, I wouldn't say it's uh, game changing let's just say they're not as cool as I expected them to be with a cool covers anyway it's worth a try the other thing I don't like about it is the fact that it does raise the seat height slightly and uh, if you're a little bit short in the leg so I've had to customise the suspension on this to drop it down a little bit so that you've got a comfy foot down especially when you've got all the gear no idea all the gear in your panniers right catch up with you later and after that fast bit of the N260, this is what we now contend with. We're, we're into the mountainous bit, uh, viewers. This is quite a gorge we're entering into here. If 
few roadworks along here, so we're having to take it a bit easy down here. Ah, oh, well, it's a quiet moment. So, so the the trousers that I was talking about, these are day and easy uh, jeans, and uh, they're the highest rating one, as I say, that, that, whichever it is, triple A or triple C or whatever. And they're meant to be immensely strong. Hope I don't have to try them out, but they're cooler than wearing rocker but uh, being black they certainly absorb the heat on a day like today right catch up with you a bit later once we got away from these roadworks and here we are further down the gorge having waited about 10 minutes in traffic lights so if you're coming late September October they're doing a lot of work down here this is a gorge isn't it Wow. Well, we've now got uh, Matt Randalls ahead of me on his Triumph and we've got uh, John Redford on his Ducati V4 at the front in, in front of Matt. A little bit of catch fencing over the top for rocks and things. It's a little bit cooler down here which is nice. 25 degrees down here. And we're still on the N260, winding our way towards Vienna, and it's uh, 60 kilometres now to our hotel. We're just going to get over the top of this range, and we'll be uh, within striking distance. tunnel that you have to go through on the way up to Vienna. Oh, here we are going into this village here, Villahalla. We've come up behind Stephen Paula on their uh, BMW 1600. Thought get them in a bit of film. So we're following traffic just going up into the uh, tunnel, which I've never been up this way before. Apparently there's a fixed camera checking speeds as we go through here, oh, it's 80 kph 5,230 meters I think I'll turn the camera off now so we're just coming down into the Viela Valley here we're three kilometers from the hotel Look at the view down that valley. I'm going to concentrate on the road, but you can have a look. Whoa, that must be the town. So here we are in Viela, just arrived. So I'll show you the hotel before, the hotel room before I trash it. Um, so this is the entrance. Nicely fitted out, nice and modern. Air conditioning in here, TV, 
plenty of hanging space there. Yeah, so right in the valley here. The whole town is right in the valley. And then all the usual equipment I expect in the bar. Oh, it's quite a big bathroom. Yep, bathroom, walk-in shower cubicle. There we go, how nice is that? Oh, it's, it's, it's like, like, <laughs> this is this camera? Yeah. Did, did you see the uh, yeah. on the telegraph yeah. yeah. No. Does it So for the film purposes, so we've just left the hotel and we're heading down Barcelona direction down to uh, a place called Superat. 358 kilometres it says from here, Arrive 3 o'clock, so it's time we fiddled around. It, fuel stops and th other things, it's probably going to be quite a long day today. But it's dry. It's currently 19 and a half degrees. Why don't you catch up with us a bit further down the road once we've got ourselves warmed up and uh, you can see a bit more roadage. Okay, catch up with you in a minute. So we're just doing a little bit of a quick fuel stop a few kilometres down the road. And again we've got uh, Rob De Cruz, Wayne Morris, Michael Lucas and Brian Welsh here in front of me. Introduction's over, catch up with you down the road. So we're on the C28 and we're going to make our way up the side of this uh, mountain here on a series of hairpins. The blue sky. Mr. Blue Sky. Oops, let's have another hairpin. Throw one of these in. Have you have got to have your mind in gear for this? Look at the views along this valley, that's fantastic. Had to put a bit of this on film. Still on the C28. We're only a few kilometres from the fuel station. So we've caught up with these uh, four riders who are uh, filling up at the, finish, uh, the fuel station, same as us. We might have to dispatch them because I don't think they are uh, carrying a great pace but uh, we'll see how we go we've got a lot of wiggles here at the moment look at the views here viewers a little bit of hair pinage down here I think a couple of them are getting a frustrated sitting behind the GS oh he's off like me here we go right catch up a minute had some stunning swervery for the last sort of 10 kilometres and this is just a continuation of it so I thought I'd just uh, film a little bit just to give you a flavour. Lovely flying road. So we're just gaining elevation having just gone through the town of Sort, S-O-R-T and we are on the N260. I'm only taking snippets of film as well, I'm not uh, leaving on all the time, otherwise I'll just have too much to go back and edit when I get home. So, a few interesting little snippets for you to watch. We had a little photo stop up the road, at the top of this hill. So I'll put up on the I can't remember which uh, town we're in. We've just had a little coffee break and we're going to go up that way. 
and then across the river here yeah as I say sorry I can't remember which uh, we're just joining the LV 4008 and it looks like this lesser road is probably going to send us up into the hills over there don't think this is the most direct route to where we're aiming for but it's where I've routed it so let's hope it's a nice road I'll show you more in a minute so we've now turned on to the C462 which as you can see is quite a wiggly little road well surfaced loads of new armco so that's a newly constructed road I would imagine the cambers are all over the place on this road <laughs> We're still on the sea, 462. We're still climbing up. We're at 1334 now. It's lovely. It's well tarmac. Well, viewing spot apparently up here, photo spot. There is level. Let's get a panorama picture here. Mirador de la Trava. Oh, it gives you helpful advice on all of the wildlife. No English, so I can't tell you what it says there. Anyway, that's the town we came up through a while back down there. I suppose you do, yeah. So we've come up this rural lane and there's this electrified, to stop the cattle getting through it, we did think we were going to have to turn around and then some bright spikes were off. There's rubber handles <laughs> on there. We should be able to it just springs back into place. So I guess cars just drive through it.
So in case the other piece of filming didn't come out, um, we followed a little route that uh, looked a bit narrow, and we've actually come all the way over that mountain, let's call it, there, along the face, on really narrow roads that then turned into a concreted road with hairpins in it. Don't do it. Just don't do it. In fact, it would be worse, wouldn't it, uh, Wayne, if you went up there? Anyway, so that was interesting. That took us a while to come down in first gear. Had to put the suspension in the softest because we were just rattling our fillings. But hopefully the worst is over now as we're back onto tarmac. 153 kilometres to go. A little st stop there to refresh ourselves because we haven't seen a restaurant for lunch yet and it's three o'clock. Still a little bit narrow around here as you can see uh, viewers. And there were some really gravelly bits, some very slippy water running across the uh, road. It's all been quite an adventure this bit. Hopefully it's a busier road, uh, a mainer road in 1.3 kilometres but I'll bring you back later on. Cheers now. Right, we're out. And we're now on the C26, viewers. That's what we're on now. I'll tell you what town this is in a minute. So here we are, a few kilometres and more. We've got uh, 113 kilometres to go. C55 here. We've arrived. Rid of, we're all, all nicely covered in the shade here. Yeah. And awesome. this is the hotel. We'll uh, I'll perhaps show you a bit more once we get in and settled. See you in a minute. If you can see that the half of the garlic is gone, it's on the bread. Okay. Excellent. And then this is a, a special tomato that we use this kind of tomato only to make the Catalan bread. Okay? If you buy another kind of tomatoes, you waste a lot of tomatoes. That's and then this tomato, you have to put the tomato always like this, not like this. Like this, it works better. It's a very small, but if you cook like this, you will see that it's large enough for one piece of bread. Okay. So, you take the tomato <laughs> and you only throw away the skin. You see, special tomato, tomato. And the most important thing, 
It's the olive oil. Yes. In a, in a, here we don't Never. use butter. Never butter. Olive oil. This is the small olives, and the, it's, it's extra virgin, cold extraction. Oh. And the olives, it's uh, the, the very small olives, but they give us an oil very sweet. A little bit. And <laughs> Commando, for it's sake. very important the oil must cool by here. Okay? <laughs> I only do the first one. Pay attention because you have to do it yourself. Okay? <laughs> Go. Thank you very much. Someone yeah, yeah, yeah. wants this one? Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Right, so you have to take off the back side of the, sh the garlic. No, I don't think you do. I think you, you, you no, crack on. I thought you said take off the. He said if you peel it. No, no, but he said what he meant was you don't, don't peel that bit. As a starter, we have prawn salad. You eat fish or not? Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. And salmon as well. Yes. yes. Okay. Everybody the same. This is the choice of the foods we have tonight. You want beef? Mm -hmm.